I'm playing a game. Look. Okay. So what are you observing? Going to be over and I have scored only 15. So let's play once again. Once again, I'm going to play it. So as I scored 30, I got my winner screen. So what is the game over here? I am shooting the balloons with my pencil and when I score more than 25, then only I got my winner screen. That is I won the game. So this is what all we are going to learn how to create the balloon shooter game. So you are excited about it? Let's start. First of all, you need a new file and over there we didn't have this sprite, this cat, so you have to delete. Now we'll choose the backdrops. I'll take the dark backdrop because the balloons are more prominent in this and one for the celebration if the player is winning the game okay so now let's go to backdrops and over here I have I need only two and but I have this blank one which I don't need anymore so I'm going to delete this and then I can rename them if you want to uh, name it as the playing area or the shooting uh, area whatever you want you can do that and over here I'm just going to uh, rename it as winning party so this is how you rename the backdrop okay so select this one because I'm going to start with this and now what we uh, are going to have we are going to have next we are going to have our sprites so first I'll take my balloon I'll choose my balloon here's my balloon now it's quite large so how we are going to reduce the size yes we you are right over here i'm going to reduce it by 50 percent so i'll say 50 i think it's fine now and i'm going to place it here because the balloon is going from top to bottom so just see the position of x and y coordinates over here the position of x and y coordinates here is minus 35 and 164 so you want your balloon to move from top to bottom so just see what are the changes in the coordinates see the value of y is nearly minus 190 so this is what you want you want your balloon to move straight from top to bottom without changing the x coordinate but the y coordinate is going to be negative around minus 190 okay so this is what you have to learn so just place it here first and now what you want that when you click on this green flag your balloon should be here so go to motion and choose this which is the current position of the balloon now what do you want you want your balloon to move down along y-axis so moving down along y-axis means negative value of 5 negative value of y okay if it is moving up then it is going to be positive value of y coordinate and if it is moving at the right side the positive value of y no it's going to be x and if it is going to be on the left hand side of the screen then it is going to be negative value of 
x coordinate perfect so we are going to reduce the value of y with a certain value let's see it's here change y by 10 over here if i say it is going to move upward because top or upward is positive and but i want my balloon to move down so i'm going to reduce it by minus value which is 5 let's see have you seen it has moved down a little bit but you're not going to repeat it minus 5 minus 5 minus 5 what is the condition that you want your balloon to move from top to bottom it is until it reaches this bottom so you have to sense or you have this position artificial intelligence concept comes here so you have to sense this uh, position of your screen the bottom of the screen which i already told you was nearly minus 190 so you have to repeat this step until you reaches y coordinate which is minus 190 so for that you'll go to control and you'll say repeat until move it under this and now you have to put the condition until it reaches uh, nearly about 190 so you have to compare the values for comparing the values we have operators so I'll take this operator here. I'll change the value to minus 195. And then over here, what, what should be over here? Yes, you're right. Y coordinate. So go to motion and see Y position here. So according to this code, when I click on this green flag, my balloon is going to be on this position. And it is going to decrease by minus 5 until it reaches minus 195. Let's check that. Your purpose is solved. Okay, what is the next thing? The next thing I want is, I don't want only a single balloon. There should be number of balloons with which uh, I can play my game. So how you can create balloons? Now, there are number of ways. One of the way that you must be thinking is duplicating this balloon. So what it will, it will, uh, will do, let's see. I duplicate that. And now if I run this code. You are watching only a single balloon. But there are two. See. So you have to change the value of x over here. So that you, x or y, so that you can see the second balloon. Let it be minus 94. So play it again. Now can you see the two balloons? But with these two balloons, I am not going to play my game. I want at least 10 balloons. So do I create 10 balloons to 10 duplicates of them? No. For this, the another solution, a smart solution is clones. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about how to make clone of a sprite so let's see where it is it's here in control and you can see there are three options create clone of myself delete this clone and when I start as a clone then what it should do so now I want at least 10 balloons in my game so i have to create 10 balloons for that i will use repeat 10 and then create clone of myself i think you have got a pretty good idea about what this code is going to do now this is going to create 10 clones of this balloon but you have to tell when it is going to do so you want this to happen when you click on this green flag okay so what i'll do i'll just bring it here let's see what will happen i'm clicking on this flag nothing happens as such because clone it will be create creating but no code for this 
how this is going to be executed for this i have when i start as a clone now when it start as a clone it will go over here it will reach to y axis until uh, it is going to decrease by minus 5 until it reaches at the bottom so let's see yes but what is the problem they all 10 balloons are at the same position see and so on so you have to change the position of each balloon at the top itself how would you change that you have done it earlier yes pick random so you are going to take operator pick random and change the position of x axis now you want your balloon to be starting from here let's see what is the position of x and what is the position of x over here it is 220 and uh, around 220 and minus 220 so i am going to let's see i'll show you see what is the position of x minus 225 similarly over here it's 225 so you will write pick random position at minus 225 to 225 and you can also change the position uh, at the very top 190 or 195 if you want you can do that as well and let's see yes they all are at the different position but what is the problem the problem is this balloon is here and it is not going down and it is visible so you have to hide this balloon so go to looks and hide it now when you're hiding something when you're hiding something you have to show it as well why i'm saying so let's see see i clicked on this even the clones are hidden so you have to show the clones for that you will put it over here and then click on the green flag they all are visible now the thing is they are simultaneously appearing and going down at the same time but i want each balloon to appear at a different time so that the time uh, they reaches the bottom is also different for that what i will do i will say when it is creating a clone it should wait for certain time so you can put a wait of one second here so now they are appearing after one second okay if you want to make it more random again you have the random block so you can pick random seconds for example i'm going to take point one two or a point two 2.15 or 1.5 1.5 and let's see so the speed is also i uh, guess is fine so this is how it is going to be but now what is the next task the next task is when your balloon touches the bottom they should be hidden okay they should be hidden or they should be deleted so i'll delete this clone when it reaches minus 195 that is at the bottom so i'm going to delete drag this over here delete this clone okay let's see whether it works or not yes Okay, now what is the next thing? The next thing is we have to add our next sprite. The time, this is the time we need to add our next sprite that is the pencil or our shooter sprite. So, add the pencil 
find out your pencil.